This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. We, we come to you regularly, short business episodes, short private equity episodes, interviews with business and private equity leaders, uh, as well as body of life episodes. T- today's discussion is eight key pieces of advice as the economy tanks. And, and, and bear with me as we walk through this. These are eight pieces of advice or thoughts as the economy tanks. And bear with me. I don't want to overstate that. But we sort of have a slowdown in the economy. Uh, more and more open jobs, an employment rate that's rising, people with credit card debt at all-time highs, and and lots of of difficult signals. But let me give you eight pieces of advice as we walk through this. First, it's critical that you prioritize your spending as to what you think you really need to spend on and, and try and show discipline to not spend on the other things. Second, it's always a good time, and particularly good good time, to go easy on your debt and the accumulation of debt, whether mortgage debt, credit card debt, whatever it is, maintain the discipline. You don't have to buy the dreamiest of dream houses. Keep your mortgage, keep your debt at reasonable levels. Third, understand your asset allocation. We'll come back to this in a second. So many people have no choice but to panic when the market falls because they're so over allocated into one set of assets versus another set of assets. You really have to understand the mix of your market allocation together with your own behavior and temperament and the long-term potentiality of that mixed portfolio versus a complete growth or equity portfolio. Fourth concept is maintain emergency funds. I'm a big fan of big emergency funds. I give us returns to have a lot of money in emergency funds, but I'm a big proponent of it. Fifth, this is a different subject and it really comes out of a personal instance, but before you start any project or engage anybody for any any anything, whether it's a house project, a business project, a software project, whatever it is, ask for an estimate up front. You don't have to have an exact estimate, but you want to know what you should expect on the front end. When people don't do that, they end up with trouble on the back end. That's number five. Six, if you get wealthy, it takes it takes tremendous discipline and the fighting of FOMO to stay wealthy. Uh, tremendous temperament, if you have money, not to spend it on every ridiculous thing that's put in front of you. You don't need to buy another home. You don't need to buy another boat. You don't need to fly private. If you get wealthy, do your best to stay wealthy. A tremendous amount of people get wealthy and don't stay wealthy. It takes tremendous discipline. You, you better find it before you get there. Seventh, we talked about this a little bit before, but allocation of assets is critical. Don't get bullied by an advisor into a more aggressive allocation than you like. Uh, the, the more aggressive allocation looks great on paper, but you need an allocation you could live with. The broker also does better when you have a more aggressive allocation, and that doesn't mean because they get a percentage, and they usually get higher percentages on equities than bonds, but it doesn't mean you have to go that direction just because they push in that direction. Finally, eighth, and this is something we talk about, don't quit your job just because you want to find a new job during a recession or when a recession is coming. It's much easier to find a new job when you have a job. It's also the kind of thing where in terms of a, you know, if you having a core paycheck, when savings are going in the wrong direction, your market is going in the wrong direction, it's a great, great thing. Uh, again, these are eight key pieces of advice when the economy is tanking. I hope you find this podcast useful. Always feel free to text Scott Becker, 773-766-5322. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity Business Podcast. Thank you very, very much.